hello everyone and welcome in hope everyone is doing well positive healing vibes to all the subscribers the viewers and the world out there today we're going to take a look into capricorns week ahead for august 17th through the 23rd in this message we are first going to tap into the energies with the psychic tarot deck here then we will get an overview message with the fairy tarot we'll dig a little bit deeper into the message with a traditional deck I'll clarify as well as pull a few oracle cards at the end. If it's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's see here, Capricorn, what we can see for you guys for August 17th through the 23rd. Most important message here, Spirit. For Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to see for August? 17th through the 23rd week ahead please and thank you please keep in mind guys that the messages on youtube are general they're not going to resonate every time with every person it's really about the title if there's something in the title resonating there's most likely going to be something in the message for information on any useful information is all linked below in the description box guys and also um if you feel like i'm catching on your energy we're vibing you like how i interpret the cards you're more than welcome to subscribe here everyone's always welcome here capricorn and it does help set your intentions for future messages so the message coming out here it looks like this week you're really working through some challenges it feels like there's going to be a prosperous new beginning here uh, we have the nine of pentacles and the ace of pentacles both um, showing face here we also have the devil energy which is capricorn energy but we have bef before that we have the obstacles and challenges card so i do feel like there is uh, some heavy energy that you're working through this week but everything is going to be working in your favor, okay? So just trust the process, um, pay attention, make sure all your I's are dotted, your T's are crossed, that sort of thing. This very well may be some challenges with a business venture, a partnership, something along those lines, um, having to do with money. It could be having to do with a relationship, although I do get this business sense more than relationships. So let's take a look here, Capricorn see what else we can see for you guys August 17th through the 23rd most important message here spirit what does Capricorn need to see please and thank you Queen of Autumn, Page of Winter, Eight of Summer. So the Queen of Pentacles, the Princess of Winter is the Page of Swords. The Eight of Summer is the Eight of Cups. The Queen of Summer is the Queen of Cups. Looks like you're making a decision here. Unity. Yeah, you're making, you're choosing one option over the other. Choosing one option over the other here, Capricorn. You are making the right decision here. Trust your intuition. I feel like you know. You probably know this already. So this is going to be a difficult transition. Making sure that you get closure on this situation is going to be important here. So some of you, this is, this could be business sense. And um, you're choosing one venture over the other. But I am getting more of a relationship vibe here, Capricorn. I do feel like you have made your decision. Okay. So we have the Queen of Autumn, the pa Princess of Winter, the Eight of Summer, the Queen of Summer, and Unity. Which is Queen of Autumn, Page of Swords, Eight of Cups, Queen of Cups, and the Hierophant. So let's clarify here. We have the wheel on the bottom of the deck as long as as well as the nine of pentacles 
okay so this tells me here that you are making the right decision okay make sure that you're getting closure on this past situation okay don't leave no open doors or loose windows um because i feel like it's going it's only going to cause confusion and i feel like your person is smarter than that so you need to fully close out that chapter here capricorn before you continue to move forward mm -hmm. okay so three of pentacles there's something that's more in alignment with where you're headed more in alignment with your goals you've been working together with this person i feel like um and finally have come to a practical decision on how to move forward i'm picking up a relationship vibe this could also be business sense however i do feel like there is a need to close out a chapter close out this whatever choice that you are letting go of you need to close that out completely here don't leave nothing no loose ends okay no loose ends I also feel here that this conversation that you have with this person that you're letting go is going to be difficult it's not going to be easy when you're releasing this situation focus on your needs capricorn like this situation just wasn't in alignment with where i see myself headed i feel like you know it's just a it makes the process easier it also gives this person something to um understand within themselves okay they get to understand their lesson as well as move forward The big message that's been coming out of out here is this okay and the past two readings i've done there is a lot of confusion that i find in the collective surrounding this what this means okay not necessarily the four of wands but what a soul tie what does a soul tie mean what is a soul tie how do you know if a situation is a soul tie or a twin flame or a soulmate or a karmic connection and here's the thing i feel like you can do the research there's so much free information out there that you could do the research and you probably could pinpoint exactly how to tell if a person is a twin flame a soulmate what have you but the energies the vibrations are so similar it's not so much of being able to tell the characteristics it's more so being able to tell where the differences are and that's very hard to distinguish and what i feel needs to be implemented is there's lessons to be learned in every situation whether it's a soulmate a karmic or a twin flame there's a specific lesson eight of cups to be learned in all of that any of those soul tie connections okay i feel like you're moving towards a connection that was stronger than the past okay but there is still a lot of confusion because you still probably felt a deep connection with the past if you stand in your power Cap capricorn and uh, focus on that vision Okay, where you see yourself headed and then seeing you know if this relationship or connection is in alignment with where you see yourself headed okay what are your needs what do you need to feel stable solid secure in a relationship um, also thinking about uh, what are your needs just in life in general from yourself even to be able to move forward with goals with dreams
there is a significant lesson that still needs to be learned here. I feel also, Capricorn, that there is some healing that needs to take place, okay? Some, probably some acceptance, maybe per, a little bit of personal responsibility here. Digging deep and just asking yourself, what was the part that I played in this situation, right? What could I have done differently, even if it was ignoring your intuition? Or, or trying to figure it out too hard. The thing is, is it here is what I said in the last reading and the reading before that. Asking yourself, how does this feel for me today? Does this feel good for me today? Does this feel negative? Does this feel tense, anxious? Um, how does this situation make me feel today? Okay, F focus on the day-to-day -day right now. Okay, especially moving through any conflict because you don't want to, you want to make sure that all your I's are dotted, all your T's are crossed. Also, one big thing that I find a lot of people do is suppressing emotions. There's a need to work through that. So if you're releasing a connection that you had a deep, connection with and you still are feeling conflicted then you may need to grieve that relationship i know it sound it may sound silly to you but it's psychological being very clear with yourself being very practical with yourself is going to help you to come to that understanding and to move forward okay i do feel like you are moving forward into a deep connection and this person's probably willing to wait so make sure that you're closing out the chapter and going through that process of really letting go that letting go of that connection. So let's clarify here. We'll use the Rider Weight, the mini Rider Weight deck for you, Capricorn. Let's see. Wear this. Mm-hmm. Knew it. Two of Cups. So you see what I mean? How the... T even in tarot, a lot of people get those cards confused. Those cards cards mixed up. It's going to be by each reader's perspective, right? Um, but there's the Four of Wands. There's the Two of Cups. There's the Lovers. There's the Six of Cups. There's a whole bunch of cards that all symbolize that soul connection. Okay? It's definitely coming through here. But... Don't, I mean, you could do your research and you know, just to make sure that that's a soul tie. But here's the thing. If you're into, if you feel a pull towards a person for some, some reason that you can't, you maybe can't even put your finger on, there is something to learn in that connection. That's a soul tie. To sit back and try to waste time on, is this my twin? Is this a soulmate? Is this, you may miss the lesson. So take it one day at a time. I feel like do your research just for personal information, um, but don't do research every time somebody comes into your life to try to figure out if it's a soul tie. What you really need to do here, Capricorn, is go, go within and get clear on what it is that you see yourself. Where do you see yourself headed? What do you envision yourself doing in relationships five or ten years down the road? And finding somebody who is in alignment with that. That you can grow together with instead of apart from. Emperor with the Queen of Pentacles. Now, you may have already found that person. Mm-hmm. You may have already found that person. I feel like you are releasing a toxic situation here. So that might have been the devil energy is also a karmic situation or a karmic connection being brought to the forefront. So understand that there is a karmic tie here. There is also a soul tie here. And yes, there's some confusion surrounding this. Um, just pay attention to the lesson here. Okay. Okay. Everything is going to pan out as it needs to pan out. There's a need here to trust the universe more and trust yourself more, Capricorn. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. Mm 
Mm -hmm. You're moving towards something that's more collaborative. The Three of Pentacles is coming out here twice. So that's like working together, coming together, collaborating together. A lot of times it can be building a business, um, being beginning phases of building a business. The Page of Swords also keeps coming out. So I feel like this past person may be watching your growth or move forward. They're definitely lurking. I feel like there's just a need here to, if you close out that chapter, that's not going to be so prominent here. Okay. It's not going to be so prominent. Let's pull a few cards out here for your advice, Capricorn. Moving forward, I am going to do an extended version of this reading, guys. In the extended version, we'll take a look into um, what's this new person's intentions here? Where is this all headed? We'll also take a look at what are the next steps? What are the next steps moving forward? And what is the outcome if the guidance is followed? We'll pull out a few different Oracle decks, the guidance cards for the blessing and the soul truth deck for the lesson. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. The Hierophant in reverse with the nine of swords. Instantly, I thought fear of commitment, fear of being married, traditional marriage. This could be you or this could be your other person, but I feel like there's a need here just to be honest with yourself. Be very practical whether this is you or this person that you're moving away from this is why this is why this is ending so if this is you capricorn if this is you that's fearing commitment i'm not saying don't walk away from that situation because it's definitely coming out as a karmic connection but i do feel that there is a need to kind of ask yourself why why is there a fear and how can you move past that maybe you need to push yourself a little bit and just being aware that you're having that fear is going to be is going to open you up a little bit to the possibilities so let's get a soul journey card out here for you capricorn if you are finding that this message was helpful resonating with your situation please give it a thumbs up all the love and support is very much appreciated and it does help with the growth of the channel. So thank you guys so much for that. Patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Earth has become a place of instant gratification. You must focus on the maxim. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. Oh my gosh, was that not what I ta was talking about, Capricorn? This card has come to you because you need to learn the joy of anticipation. The process of doing is so rich in lessons, but when you concentrate only on the goal, those experiences are disregarded. Life is an unfolding and the more patience you practice, the more you will let the universal energy celebrate itself through you and bring the experiences and situations your soul requires. You need to learn that there is a rhythm to everything in the universe. And the more you are living with patience, the more aware you are of the lessons your soul is studying. You are on a path. There are signposts. If you're speeding down that path, you will miss the little miracles and treasures that have been placed there. So Capricorn, <laughs> I love it when it's kind of clarified, but honestly, there is kind of a need to have patience with the process and kind of pay attention because there is a, there is a specific lesson that's needing to be learned here and that's being brought to the forefront. Here's the thing about karmic connections that the lesson that's supposed to be learned in those karmic connections, the universe always brings those lessons back around if we miss them. I've been there, so I'm only speaking from experience, okay? Trust 
the process here. You have to slow it down. You have to have patience and you have to kind of pay attention, pay attention right now because the universe is trying to tell you something. And I get the sense here, Capricorn, that you're starting to open up, but we're at one point not paying attention to your intuition. Okay. So let's get a power thought card out here for you guys. My healing is already in process. My willingness to forgive begins my healing process. I allow the love from my own heart to wash through me, cleansing and healing every part of my body. I know I am worth healing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Capricorn. So Capricorn. That is the message I have coming out for you guys for this week. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on that extended version to this reading, the link is below. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.